commitment to the 2020-2021 Conejo Valley Unified School District's Focus on the Arts program. This exciting arts adventure is funded by two grants from generous partners, including Access Arts, an initiative of TO Arts, along with Conejo Schools Foundation. Have fun, and remember you can work at your own pace. Don't forget to use that pause button. And this is family fun for the whole family, so gather everyone around and you can all work together. And if you don't have the materials, you can improvise. That means use what you got. And no matter what, remember, even though we're apart, we're connected by art. Hey, welcome back guys. My name's Miss Jess and today's lesson's called Who's Watching? Did you know owls are pretty cool? They have specialized wings to make it silent when they fly. There's approximately 200 different species of owls. In Ventura County where we live, there are great horned owls, barn owls, and burrowing owls. You may have seen some of these owls before. They have really flat faces and big eyes. And that's what we're gonna be drawing today. So let's go ahead and get started. Remember to press really lightly when we're drawing and then go over harder with your crayons later. Remember you can pause the video at any time. Feel free to start with pencil. Draw a big oval in the center of your page with a V on top. Draw two lines that connect to the oval. Big eyes and a triangular beak. Draw two curved lines on each side, showing the wings. Give your owl some legs and add two concentric circles inside of the eyes. Now let's add a branch that our owl is sitting on and some really simple leaves. When you're ready to start coloring, go ahead. Remember you can blend colors and color it however you'd like. You can add some white specks to look like stars. Starting with a pencil, just draw two wavy lines near the bottom of your page connected by an oval. Now draw a really faint line in the middle of your page with two big circles at the top. Draw two small ovals at the bottom with the letter M to look like the talons. For the ears, draw two semicircles coming from the center of the eyeballs. Draw two triangles that represent the opening of the ear and add a beak. Your beak can look like the letter V. For the body of your owl, just draw two lines coming from the eyeballs to the branch. And then two more lines connected from the beak to the branch. Here I will add little details to make it look like there are feathers on the belly of the owl, and then two concentric circles in each eyeball. Now let's add a branch with a couple leaves on it too. Now add a few wavy lines in the branch to make it look like wood grain. Now you're ready to start coloring. I like to start by adding a really dark outline and then coloring in some softer colors on the inside. You can add even more details of texture with your crayon. While I color, I'm going to press harder in some areas and softer in others. This will create the illusion that my owl has shape. As you can see, I never just use one color in a space. Now in the background, you can add a moon and some stars. Be sure to fill in the entire page with color. Here I'm gonna start with white crayon just because you won't be able to see my pencil marks. Pressing really lightly and drawing a big oval with a V at the top of the oval for the head and the ears. Here we can add some feathers. And draw two big circles for the eyeballs. 
If you've noticed, sometimes I like to draw in the air above my page before I actually lay my pencil down. Okay, now let's draw a beak and some wings. Now add a concentric circle in each eye. Now we can draw some talons by just adding three lines and connecting them with a curve like that. All right, now we're ready to start coloring. I'm gonna go back in and add some darker white around the tree. Again, when you start coloring, press harder in some areas and softer in others to create a nice contrast. Think about how you can add highlights and shadows in your drawing. I used this dark blue in the tree to add a shadow and I added some white next to it for the highlight. Try to add more than one color in any space on your page. Okay guys, great job today. My name is Miss Jess, thanks for watching. Who's watching? But before we go, hey Liz, what's an Al's favorite subject in school? I don't know. Algebra. Thanks guys, don't forget to like this video below. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, Miss Jess here, hanging out with the Canaro Cottontail. Just chiming in to let you guys know to be sure to check out arttrek.org for more information on what we can offer you. Have a good day.